Code Composer Studio, or CCS, is an integrated development environment for Texas Instruments embedded processors. When you run Code Composer Studio, it will prompt you to select a workspace. A workspace is a folder on your computer that is the default location for all of your projects and preferences. If you're running CCS for the first time, you may see a license dialog. To use CCS, you need to have a license. If you have purchased a license, you can provide it at this time, or you can pick from one of the free license options, such as the 90-day limited license. The window that you see now is the welcome page that is part of the Resource Explorer. This page provides a list of common actions that you may wish to perform when you are starting to use the CCS environment. It even provides a link to this video. There are actions for creating a new project, browsing examples, importing an existing project, if you have one from a previous version of CCS, or if you've been provided one from another user. You can visit our online support community, or even go to the Code Composer Studio Wiki, which has links to many video tutorials and other useful information. The Highlights area provides more information about some of the new features that are included in this version of CCS. Let's create a new project. I click on the New Project button and this launches the project wizard. I need to provide a name for my project. I can specify whether the project is an executable or a library. You can see here that it is going to be placed in my workspace folder. If I wish to place it somewhere else, I can uncheck this box and specify a different location. I need to say which family I'm creating this project for. In my case, I'm going to create this project for the F2013 Easy MSP stick. I specify which device. The filter box filters the list of devices on the right. I select the device I'm using. I also need to say which JTAG connection I'm using to connect to the target. In this case, I'm using an MSP430 USB FET. I can either choose to create an empty project, or I can select from a list of available templates. I'm going to select the template to blink the LED. We can now click on Finish and create the project. You will notice that the welcome page has closed automatically. You can open it again at any time from the help menu. On the left hand side of the screen is the project explorer. This is your main window for managing projects. Note that in Code Composer Studio projects are folder based. If you copy a file into your project folder it will automatically be considered part of the project. When you're adding source files to your project, you can choose to either add them to the project, in which case they will be copied into your project folder, or you can choose to link them to the project, in which case they are left in their original location and the project will just have a reference to the file. Inside the project, there are a number of files and folders that were added to the project by the project wizard. The includes folder shows you the compiler include search paths that have been configured. The CMD file is a linker command file which defines the memory map of the device so that the linker knows where to place your program code and data. The ccxml file is a target configuration file. This contains your debugger setup information, it specifies which JTAG emulator you are using, and the device or board that is connected to it. When you click on the Bug button, it will build your selected project, if necessary, and then launch the debugger based on the target configuration that is in your project. Note that when the debugger is launched, the way CCS looks has changed. This is because it has switched from the edit perspective to the debug perspective. A perspective is an arrangement of menus, toolbar buttons, and windows. The edit perspective is tailored to writing code and building projects, and the debug perspective is set up to be more applicable to debugging activities. 
On the toolbar you can see what perspective you are in and you can switch between perspectives if you want to. One of the most important windows in the debug perspective is the debug view. You do not wish to close this window. It shows you the currently active debug sessions as well as the call stack. It also has buttons for controlling the debugger. Run, halt, terminate, terminate will, which will kill the debugger, stepping controls, and reset. The debug view controls the context of other views when debugging. Clicking on an item in the call stack, or in the case of a multi-core device, clicking on a different core, will change the context of what is displayed in the other views to match what is selected in the debug view. By default, only a few windows are open. The view menu provides access to other common windows. By clicking on an item here, like the breakpoints view, it will open it in the current perspective. When you are finished with the debugger, click on the terminate button in the debug view and it will shut down the debugger and return to the edit perspective. Let's use the resource explorer to try out an example project. If you click on the examples link, it will take you to a section in the Resource Explorer that shows you all of the examples that CCS has discovered on your PC. Here it has discovered the Control Suite package that I have installed. I can see all of the example projects that are part of the Control Suite package. If I click on the main entry for Control Suite, I can get access to more documentation. As well, I can even watch videos about using Control Suite. Let's select a project and start using it. I have a Piccolo F28027 control card connected, so I'm going to select the CPU timer example for that device. The Resource Explorer now shows me a series of steps to go through to start working with this project. I can import the project into my workspace. You can see that it's been added here to the Project Explorer. I can build the project. Notice how Code Composer Studio will indicate to me when each of these steps has been performed. I need to specify the debugger configuration that I'm going to be using. In my case, I have an XDS100 V1 USB emulator, so I select that. CCS has now generated a target configuration file and added to the project. I can now choose to debug this project. As you can see, the Resource Explorer makes it easy to start working with example projects. The project is now running on the device, and I'm ready to use it. Remember, if you have any questions on how to use Code Composer Studio, please check the available resources on the wiki, as well as the support forums, both of which can be accessed from the Help menu or the Welcome page. Here's the wiki, and here's the support link. Thank you for choosing Code Composer Studio.